Welcome to this video tutorial demonstrating the advanced PDF editing capabilities we have in-house at Cedar Graphics. At Cedar Graphics, we encourage all of our customers to send print-ready PDF files rather than the native application files. And we understand that customers would rather send that native application files so that we could make final corrections or last-minute corrections to files before it goes to print. This video is to demonstrate that that's no longer needed. We can make these corrections within a PDF. As we have opened here, if you remember the last video, we corrected a PDF file before exporting it. We corrected a native file before exporting to a PDF. And if you recall that we didn't have bleeds, and when we added the bleeds, we actually had a mistake here that we didn't correct. So the best way to do this is to go into the native application file back in InDesign, make those corrections, and re-export. But in the case of time, or in instances where there's not enough time to do so, we can make this change in the PDF. Right now I have this PDF open in Acrobat. As you can see here, I can't change any of this text. I can't move it over. I can't correct any of this. I can't correct this box here to move into the bleed. So what we do is we open it in our PDF editing tool. This is it right here. This is a PDF. It's not the native application file. And we can make these corrections. We can actually move this text box, resize it, adjust it, take it into GIF, and make sure this text now fits. resize this text so it fits better and is not overlapping with the logo here. And even to justify it so I don't have a problem with it fitting. We can also fix this box here. If you can remember this when I just had the last file open, there wasn't this yellow this orange box wasn't extending into the bleed, which means and when we cut it, we could have a problem with uh, this not being trimmed properly. So we'll go ahead and correct that here. We'll just extend this box out. Do the same with this box. Now all we have to do is save the file, and that's it. Our PDF, print-ready PDF, is still a print-ready PDF with the changes made.